sing it all again. And go on till you come to the end. Then stop. But I don't want to go in my time thinking. But I don't want to move with my men. Everybody minding their own business, the world would go round a great deal faster than it does. If everybody minded their own business, then it does. I don't think. I don't think that you shouldn't talk. Have I gone mad? I'm afraid so. But let me tell you something. The best people usually are. The best people usually are men. Tell me, please, which way I ought to go from here. I don't much care where. Then it doesn't matter which way you go. So long as I get somewhere. How long is forever? Sometimes just sex. I'm afraid I can't explain myself, sir. Because I'm not myself. I'm not myself. I'm not myself. I wonder if I've changed in the night. Let me think. Well, I was the same I got here this morning. I almost think I can remember feeling a little different. Why do I not say? The next question is, who in the world am I? Who in the world am I? Thank <laughs> you. 
another thing that threw up in my mind. Mind.
C'était Nina Kravitz du bruit pour elle, s'il vous plaît Bravo Bravo 
Merci beaucoup, Paris. C'est un magnifique. Merci Nina Kravitz, merci la Tour Eiffel de nous avoir accueillis. On vous laisse entre deux bonnes mains puisque c'est Trommer qui reprend du bruit pour Trommer. So first question, I think is the most asked question is how do you feel tonight after playing in this amazing monument? I, I, I feel, uh, I, I don't think I realized it yet because that was, um, still, you know, sometimes things and feelings, they come afterwards. Yes. And even though you try to, uh, you know, sustain those every, like very now feelings, it's sometimes quite difficult. Um, Très très difficile. Yeah. Wow, you speak good no, French. No, I just like uh, whatever. And um, but this place is, you know, it was built many many years ago um, by a genius, and I love this place so much. I've, I've been a, a big fan of it. And every time I'm in Paris, most of the time, I would go here and I would just stand right there, you know, and and just like watch the Eiffel Tower from from the bottom. Yes. And I would look at it like that and. Yeah. I would imagine it's like a huge radio receiver, you know, that gets all the waves from all over the, around the world. And, you know, you would be energized. You would receive all the messages that you need to receive, you know. And so it also sends the message. Exactly. Like so it's like a huge transistor, you know. And, um, yeah, it was when, I, when somebody told me that there is a possibility to play here, I was... It's like, yeah, it was an yeah. instant answer, of course. You know, it's such a such an amazing place. And for me, it's much more than just uh, like a tourist uh, attraction, you know, it's so Have much. Have you been there uh, like a tourist? Yes, yes, yes of course, <laughs> many times. And uh, I've been investigating about this building and I'm just a big, big fan. Uh, and I think techno music in that sense, in that context, really belongs here yes. because um, because it's like it, this is the uh, human-made building to present what the technology, what what you know, there's something that a human being could do. Yes. So I think techno music as a minimalistic avant-garde form of you know of music, like maybe some people think reduced one, but whatever, fits really perfectly here. And I'm very proud and honored, more like honored, you know, to play here. And I hope the guy who built it, maybe he sees us somewhere or feels what's going on. So yeah. I think you would have been Eiffel. happy. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci, Monsieur Eiffel. C'est un magnifique. We should do this interview in French, right? No. Uh, no, <laughs> okay. no, not yet. Maybe one time. Yeah. Um, so, question from Jordan. Why Jordan. Are you, oh, Jordan. Uh, Jordan. Why are you still DJing with vinyls and what do you enjoy about it? Um, well, to be honest, if, if there was like... Um, if there was a perfect setup and I could do like dub plates all the time uh, for any new music that's coming from my label trip, you know, I'm very um, honored and also very blessed to have so much more new, new music that nobody could hear, you know. So if I, if I had a little bit more time, I would probably just do all the dub plates and play only records because it's so much better for me. It's this unpredictability and you could feel the physical, you know, self so much, the connection and the little adjustments and just remembering the vinyl, how it looks like. It's, it's really important to me, this physical human, you know, connection to everything you do. Uh, I think it's just like the um, first and foremost message about what, everything I'm doing. I want to see, I want people to, to feel the human behind the decks. Yes. And um, what the human feels and how he interacts with, with records it also kind of gives this feeling. If he's nervous, which I was today, I was really nervous. You know, every time I, I play uh, in front of uh, a camera, Cameras. you know, if, 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 if I had the same setup, the same crowd, and just I knew that I was not recorded, I was a completely different person. I I'm can just understand like, this. You know, yeah. you know, and the cameras like, are closed. Yeah, right. but you know, it's, it gives you this kind of self-conscious feeling, kind of, because you know that you are recorded, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. And I wish there was no cameras, but there are cameras. And <laughs> today we're actually really cool. I don't know why, but uh, I think the uh, cameraman here at Turkle are really professional. They're almost like, you know, invisible. Yes. Yeah, so I guess I, I answered this question. I just like to be a human behind the decks. And uh, I think rec the, the, a record, something physical that gives you a perfect 
um, ability to you know to translate this feeling somehow. Okay. Yeah. Um, other questions, guys. Question from Guillaume. Ask Nina what are the DJs or musicians that inspired you the most. You know, it's been uh, probably 15 years or maybe 20 years. Wait a minute. I was always really bad with math <laughs> and algebra. So I'd say, for yeah, for many, many years, I've been just like learning. And I, of course, I started with uh, Chicago and Detroit uh, techno. Um, and I knew everything about it. That's what the like, biggest inspiration that came. But um, later, I've discovered like every year there was something else, like uh, the whole Dutch electronic scene, you know, the electro and bunker crew and everything. Then I was playing some disco, some funk music. Uh, there were so many different stages that I, I was also a singer in a, in, in a band, which was more like uh, indie, indie pop, indie whatever. Nice. So, <clears throat> to answer this question is quite difficult yeah. because um, um, there's so many people and there's still people that I discover every day and they, they, you know, they influence me a little bit, just a little notch up and up. But since we're actually at Eiffel Tower and we're in France and um, this is such an important place for electronic music, I would just drop one name and of course, it's Laurent Garnier, of and uh, I've been a huge fan of his since a long, long time. And um, I think a little bit the approach that I'm having as a DJ, as an artist, uh, is, has, has been influenced by him because of his, like how much genres and uh, how versatile he is as an artist, you know, and that he think that there's not really a genre that is important to, to, to create something, you know? There's just like music as a, some kind of a cluster, you know? And you can do whatever you want with it and you can mix uh, any genres you want inside a set. Today was like a really short set. Yes. But um, normally there's not really any bother, any, any limits for me. So, and this knowledge, this notion, I've learned from Mr. Laurent Garnier. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, other questions? Um, what is your favorite track that you played tonight from, from the set? You know, <laughs> actually, I, I, there was one track that I, I thought I wanted to play. Actually, I, really, I just realized that I wanted to play this track so much, but I, I haven't played it. I forgot about it. Oh. Like my, my set, I, I don't really prepare my sets, never. I, I, every time I do, everything goes wrong, so I stopped doing it a long time ago. So every time I, I perform, it's like in a total improvisation. And today, I kind of wanted to play three, four tunes that are really nice and really amazing, special signature tunes, kind of new ones, but I haven't, because I, it just didn't really go that way. Okay. Um, but that would be probably the new record on Omnidisc from uh, Dean, De, De, and I cannot pronounce his last name, but it's a fantastic tune. But from what I played today, what was the, my favorite tune? Um, probably the last record. I think it's such an amazing acidic acidism, you know. Yeah, the, the last <laughs> one know? was crazy. Also, in like in the in a proper speed and the proper pace that it has to be. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was so crazy. Prob yeah, <laughs> it was my favorite too. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> and um, also, it's, I, if you could hear, it was a little bit like crackling. It was not really like heavy on bass because it's an old record, but I found it and I'm really proud of having it. All all the tracks on this record are just phenomenal. And yeah, that was probably my favorite track. It gives you this energy. Yeah, you know? yeah, I just, definitely. I just wish I could go m longer. Yeah. Just Next sure. time, maybe. Because <laughs> I was nervous, yeah, nervous. But we were nervous too, yeah. <laughs> with the cameras and everything. Yeah. But it, it did really well. Well, it went really well tonight, and people really loved it. I would it. like to say thank you to, for everyone who watched uh, uh, the live stream and um, yeah, who were just engaged in this whole process. Whew. Was great. Yeah. I think it was just so special because it combines everything, yeah. all of this, yeah. and and I was so proud and honored to deliver the like as an artist and try to uh, connect all these little dots, you know, that would make this as such a special experience. 
I totally understand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is also, thank you so much for offering and inviting me. I am no, very grateful. No, I think you are the best artist to, to play here. Thank really. you. I appreciate it. And, and you honored that, that place. We are so yeah. happy to have you tonight. And there is, there is a, tra a tradition at Circle. It's the mystery box. It's yeah. a little gift we offer. Here is the mystery box. So you have a lot of gifts Present. tonight from the Eiffel Tower. So the Thank first you. gift is a dinner here. Dinner. So if you yeah. want to have dinner with your team, uh, you are invited by the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Thank you. I, I love eating. Uh, there is something about me is that I really enjoy life. And I, uh, one of the most uh, I incredible thing about living experience is, of course, having some good <laughs> damn food, you know? And I think in this scenery, yeah. scenery it's just going to be a very special experience. Thank you so much. No, Should no, I thank you to the Eiffel Tower. Inside? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. And yeah, thank you so much to the Eiffel Tower because for the first time they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, such a that's really French. Like, ooh. Um, ooh. Bonsoir. <laughs> Bonsoir. Je m'appelle Lina. Okay. Okay. Oh. This. <laughs> I know it's your birthday. Ah oui, bah oui, mais attends, je peux pas faire tout. <laughs> Elles sont pas allumées, frère. You know what? We we were born two days. Uh, you were born two days before me. You were born two days before me, so that's cr really crazy. Yes, and 1989, like you. So it's like everything is so connected tonight. Yes. Thank you so much, Nina. And merci. Thank you. And, and thank you to our partners also. They will come up on the screen. Welcome Fan and all the other par partners. Thank you very much to them. Thank you to the Eiffel Tower because they trusted us tonight. Uh, inviting Techno here in this uh, monument is, is really crazy. And thank you for all their trust. And uh, well, see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye, merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.